One thing that I have learned about young people through all these years, you not only can take truth, but you want to know the truth. We know that gender was set in the pre-mortal world. The spirit and the body are the soul of man. The matter of gender is of great concern to the brethren, as are all matters of morality. A few of you may have felt or been told that you are born with troubled feelings and you are not guilty if you act upon these temptations. Doctrinally, we know that if that were true, your agency would have been erased, and that cannot happen. You always have a choice to follow the promptings of the Holy Ghost and live morally pure and chaste, one filled with virtue. President Gordon B. Hinckley announced in the following in the General Conference, people inquire about our position on those who consider themselves gays or lesbians. My response is that we love them as sons and daughters of God. They may have certain inclinations which are powerful and which may be difficult to control. Most people have temptations of one kind or another at various times. If they do not act upon these inclinations, then they can go forward as others do as members of the Church. If they violate the law of chastity and the moral standards of the Church, then they are subject to church discipline, just as others are. We want to help strengthen them, to assist them with their problems, and to help them with their difficulties. But we cannot stand idle if they indulge in immoral activity, if they try to uphold and defend and live in a so-called same-sex marriage situation. To permit such would be to make a light of our very serious and sacred foundations of God-sanctioned marriage and its very perfect purpose in rearing the families. President Hinckley was speaking for the Church. The first gift that Adam and Eve received was agency. Thou mayest choose for thyself for it is given thee. You have the same agency. Use it wisely. Deny acting on any pure impulse or unholy temptation that may come into your mind is a blessing. Just do not go there. And you're already there, come back out of it. Deny yourselves of all ungodliness. Do not tamper with the life-giving powers in your body or with members of either gender. It is standard of the Church and it will not change. As you mature, there's a temptation to experiment to explore immoral activity. Do not do that. It is natural to resist restraints of any kind. I realize that you do not like to be told what to do, but if immoral conduct is a temptation for you, I plead with you to do all in your power to overcome it however difficult it may be. The key word is discipline. The word discipline comes from the word disciple or follower. Be a disciple follower of the Savior and you'll be saved. 